I wasn't gonna hop on and do this, but I'm gonna hop on and do this. So Meg Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, right? Bro, Meg had one bar. One, the Megan's Law shit. Ooh, okay, cool. Nikki saw that in the first fucking little bit of her song. The Bigfoot shit. I really think, um, Nikki, if you just go bar for bar, Nikki's song wasn't mixed properly, but you could kind of tell this bitch dropped a, Meg. Meg dropped a music video for the shit like the day after or some shit. Come on now. Like this wasn't like you got mad, recorded it and dropped it. Nikki boom boom and threw that shit out. Nikki has multiple bars that are fucking fire in her shit. You, you know what I mean? And it's just fucking weird to me, dog. Like the internet is so weird to me. You people are so fucking weird to me. Um Meg didn't do no damage to Nikki, bro. She really didn't. And Nikki said that this bitch got 24 hours to apologize to her mom. <laughs> Listen, I love that shit, dude. I love the super petty, fucked up shit. I, we had this the same conversation we had with Jay-Z and Nas, bro. When Nas was like, yeah, I fucked your baby mama and I skeeted in your Jeep and left the condom in your baby seat. I love that shit. I don't think he lost until he apologized. People be like, no, it's one that shit. Where, bro? Like, you know what? That's neither here nor there. They made up their friends, whatever. But this Nikki shit. So far, I don't even think Nikki is taking her that serious. I mean, people be like, oh my God, she's been up, oh, dude, tweeting, tweeting. I don't be reading tweets like that. I don't be fucking... I heard... The, my daughter told me about the get up on your good foot shit. And I laughed when I heard it. I laughed the first time. You know what I'm saying? So... When I heard the song, here's what I thought about Nikki's song. I heard... The, let's start at the beginning. I heard Meg's song. It was all over the place. Okay, you're just fucking coming out spraying your shots. Blah, 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 blah. Praying somebody fucking respond to your ass right now, right? Nikki did not like the Megan's Law line. And she came out and was like, basically, you basically you didn't even take a shot at Nikki. You took a shot at her husband. Like, okay. But now Nikki about to fucking dump the shit. And she says she gonna spill the tea if you don't apologize. I just look. I'm, I'm like, man, here's what I hope. I hope Meg don't apologize because I want to hear Nikki go. The, the song Nikki dropped... She talked a bunch of shit at the end. People are like complaining about the shit. It wasn't mixed like how Nikki shit usually is mixed. But she fucking recorded it and dropped it within this little bit of time, right? So, here's my thing. On any given day, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, fucking a year ago, you could have asked me who are like the top five right now motherfuckers. And I would have said Nikki in that top five in some type of... You know, whatever. But I fucks with Nikki hard, bro. She got bars, and I think that sometimes she don't get the uh, what you call it, like the, the credit she deserve or whatever. And I know it's fucking Nikki. What do you mean? She's pff, rap, rap, motherfuckers. Don't give her the credit they deserve. Nikki hard as fuck, dude. And uh. She says she don't use Ghost Riders, but if Nikki writes all that shit, I respect that shit. And if uh, she's lying, then she's lying. But I don't think she's lying, bro. People are like, it took her five years to drop an album. and Yeah, well, when you write all your own shit, you don't got Ghost Riders to keep the little factory going. So I'm take a minute. You got to be inspired. Bitch had a baby, man. Be easy. But um, right now, let's call it round one. Even with even with the bad mixing and um, everything, like I don't think Nikki responded. Let's just say I say round one went to Nikki. You know what I mean? People will try to be like, "Oh my God, you shouldn't say nothing about a dead mother." Listen, if I lie, like told a blatant lie, and it said I put that on my mom, and my mom died, and you find out that's a lie, you could look at me in my face and be like, "Bitch, you piece of shit, you put that on your dead mother, on your dead mama, on your dead mama." Apologize to your mom. You could do that. You know what I mean? So that's my thing right here, round one. 
Nikki. You know what I mean? And I'm really hoping that. I mean, I enjoy I enjoy this type of shit, bro. Just as a fan, it's WWF to me. You know what I mean? But I hope Nikki kill shots Meg. And I've seen both of them live. And I will tell you this: Nikki is Nikki. Like you know, like I just told you, when I saw Meg the Stallion live, I was fully expecting to see someone lip singing over. Uh, their songs while they shook their ass and Meg came out right off top rapping. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh, I got a new respect for Meg. So I I fuck with Meg, but not like I fuck with Nikki. And based off these two songs, I'm a firm believer that if you're gonna make a diss and you're gonna call something a diss, say who the fuck you dissing, dog. If it's just a bunch of sibs, uh sibs, subs, and you call it a diss, so you know what I mean? We knew who Nikki was talking about. Nikki went the fuck in. Nikki got round one, but that's okay because now Meg has a chance to come back, which I think I think Meg should just shut the fuck up and drop a banger. Meg needs a banger that has nothing to do with Nikki. Right now, drop that shit that has nothing to do with Nikki. And then it's different because Nikki just dropped a whole fucking album that was fucking... I like Nikki's last album, you know? So, we'll see what it is and what it could be. Lighting out.